Now, British lawmakers have voted in favor of a controversial online spying bill despite criticism from privacy advocates. The Investigatory Powers Bill sailed through the House of Commons with 281 to just 15 votes before being sent to a scrutiny community on Tuesday. Now, the proposed law will give police and spies unprecedented powers to look into the internet records of British citizens. It also requires telecommunications companies to help security services gain access to electronic devices. During the debate, the Home Secretary Theresa May said the law would be governed by the strongest safeguards against abuse. But civil liberties groups have slammed the measure, saying it grants spy agencies sweeping powers. In an open letter, over 200 top British academics and lawyers have criticized the government for pushing the bill that, quote, compromises the essence of the fundamental right to privacy. Joining us is our correspondent, Mohamed Walju via Skype from London. Now, Mohamed, uh, tell us a bit more about this bill. On paper, at least, it is very alarming. Uh, and as that letter uh, by British academics and lawyers states, it does really compromise the right to privacy. Well, absolutely. This bill does give sweeping powers to the security services. Just to put it in a little bit of perspective, this bill will force internet companies to store records showing every website visited by every person in the United Kingdom for a period of 12 months. That's a huge amount of data that's going to be accessible to the uh, to the security services. It's also caused a lot of consternation and, and, and worry by many journalists who who are fearful now that spies have the power to secretly monitor them and their sources as well. You know, during the debate in Parliament, you know, Theresa May has defined the law, saying it's it's a world-leading legislation and it's necessary to combat terrorism threats. But what many campaigners and activists and advocacy groups are saying is this is a this is a, what the government have been doing for quite some time, using this element of fear of terrorism to push forth laws which are somewhat uh, worrying and to give sweeping powers uh, to the government. Now, as you mentioned, there was a letter signed by 200 uh, British academics and legal experts. And in the letter, one of the things that they actually said was that this bill fails to meet international standards for surveillance powers. But what they also said, which is very crucial, is this bill may actually be illegal. That's a huge statement, for, to, uh, a huge statement to be made by experts who are legal experts about this particular bill, but the government has still pushed through, through this bill. It's, it's gone through quite comfortably. Uh, also earlier in March of this year, uh, the UN Special Rapporteur on the Rights to Privacy criticized the draft law, said it was disproportionate. It didn't understand how it was giving so much power to the security services and that it actually undermines the very spirit of the right to privacy. Now, it's been opposed within Parliament by uh, the Labour Party, the Liberal Democrats, and the Scottish National Party, but only the Liberal Democrats actually voted against the bill. Both the Labour Party and Scottish National Party just abstained. And I think the reason they're doing that is because in the, in the following months, we're going to see more debate um, about amendments to the bill, because I think that's where the Labour Party and the Scottish National Party believe that they can get the most joy out of making changes to this particular very worrying bill. Right now, Mohammed, as you've just pointed out as well, that this bill basically sailed through the House of Commons. Now, it is quite worrying when you look at the numbers over here, 281 to just 15 votes there. Is this a reflection of the public opinion as well, though? Definitely not. The public opinion is the majority of the public in this country are concerned about their privacy. There's fear that the government and the security services have the ability and too much ability to sift through their own, to sift through this, uh, the information that they're looking at. The privacy, things which are private to them, very personal communications. Public perception definitely is not supporting this particular this particular bill and the perception of uh, the parliamentarians. Now, the reason it's gone through so comfortably is because of the rhetoric used by the Conservative government and the Conservative Party of this fear of terrorism and this fear that the country needs to spy on everyone. But in reality, the people don't believe that this amount of power is essential and in somewhat necessary for the government to have. Okay, let's leave it there for now. That's Press News' Mohammed Walji reporting from London via Skype. Mohammed, thanks very much indeed.